What is going on, beautiful people? Welcome to another episode of A Narcissist Explains. Uh, I am your favorite self-aware narcissist, Lee Hammock, better known as Mental Illness. Today's episode, we're going to be talking about what happens when you owe the narcissist an apology. Owen did not like you do something wrong to that narcissistic person. Yeah, you 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 make a misstep, and it's like it's it's genuinely your fault. Like you absolutely did something wrong, and you have to apologize to that narcissist or toxic person. And that y'all, ooh. This, this, this is a tough time because you know nar a nar narcissistic people are like elephants a narcissist never forgets and they never really truly forgive you either because whatever you've done to them whatever that you apologize to them for will be etched in them in their memories forever and they're going to use it against you sooner or later it's going to come up in an argument it's going to come up in a fight it's going to come up sooner or later where they're going to try to use whatever you've done wrong to them because you admit it right you admitted to doing wrong, so whatever you've done wrong to them, they're gonna bring up again later on and use it against you. They just are. That's how the narcissistic mind works right there, y'all. They're going to use whatever you admitted to them to doing against you. It's going to be on you. They're absolutely going to use it against you later on. This is like, you know, you never forget, you, you, you'll never be forgiven for this crime. It's just like, you ever seen some wet cement on, a, on, a, on some pavement, right? And you put your hands in there, or you see some cat paws or some dog paws, in the uh in the when once the cement dries that's pretty much what you what a narcissist does to you like the narcissist memory is that wet wet cement and when you do something wrong to them and you apologize for it you're putting your handprint in there you're putting your footprint in there you're pretty much writing your name in there you know what I mean for it for it to that for it to harden and it still be you in there so whenever it's like going into the narcissistic bank they're not going to forgive you they just they just will not do that they might they might say apology for apology accepted and but they'll bring it up again later on because if they do something to you which which is going to happen sooner or later they're going to do something to you and they're going to bring up what you did what you apologize for did you not do that you remember you did this you apologize for it? did you not do that you remember that right you remember you you remember that right i accepted your apology about that right i no, no shh, shh, don't talk over me i accepted your apology when you did something wrong to me so what's the difference now why can't you accept my apology Boom, they're gonna use it against you later on. They just are. It's just like you're giving them ammunition. If you put in bullets into their little narcissistic gun to shoot you with later on. You may. Because they're not gonna let that go. They just, they absolutely will not let that go. A narcissist like an elephant will never forget. They're gonna weaponize your apology and use it against you later on. They just will. That's just, yeah, that's just the name of the game right there. Using your using your apology to to get back to using your apology to forgive themselves later on, to get an apology out of you later on. But thank y'all for tuning in, y'all. I just did this random episode. Somebody asked this question. I'm just responding to it. Um, thank y'all for tuning in. Like and subscribe for more. And as always, mental illness is out. Peace.